Sonic Speed Simulator is arguably one of the best games on Roblox, but sometimes it just really makes you mad. These are the 10 most hated things about Sonic Speed Simulator. Number 10, Nerfed Chemical Plant. Chemical Plant was one of the best updates Sonic Speed Simulator has ever seen. Visually stunning with amazing lines and plenty of XP. That was until it was nerfed. A few weeks ago when hoverboards were introduced to the game, they had to cut Chemical Plant in half for optimization reasons. Pretty much meaning that Chemical Plant was way too big and way too powerful to run smoothly with all the new additions to the game. There's still no word on when they'll actually bring that back into the game, but until then, that's why Chemical Plant has landed on our list of most hated things about Sonic Speed Simulator. Number nine, no trading. It's been five months and we still don't have the ability to trade any of our chows, trails, or even skins. Imagine you're a huge Knuckles fan and you went camping during the camping event. Now you've got a missing Knuckles in your Knuckle collection, oh, but no sweat. You know that your best friend is in love with Sonic and he missed out on the Sonic Riders skin. You could easily trade him your Sonic Riders for his camping Knuckles skin that you missed out on. But because there's no trading, that's not possible. Imagine if we could trade our trails. That would give us reason to get out of our level 99 trail and get into another one because that trail is now more valuable. And now the more valuable trails you have, the more they're worth, the better things you can trade them for. But because there's no trading, that's not possible. Or chows, for instance. What's the point of having more than five chows if we can't trade them? Especially after we take the time to get them up to level 99. Number eight, most hated thing, repetitive updates. One of the biggest knocks I hear about Sonic Speed Simulator is that every update's the same. Now, we might be getting ahead of ourselves on this one because they do have an update every week. Not like every three months like some of the other popular games out there. So really, what can they do to make it different? One thing they can do is make the shards or the chili dogs or whatever we're looking for, but in a different spot. Now with the addition of the mount updates, they have kind of gone away from the hunt, but realistically, as long as they're doing weekly updates, I don't see any of this changing anytime soon. Number seven, most hated thing, laggy servers. Unless you're rolling in a supercomputer, chances are you've run into laggy servers. And this could be extremely frustrating because the name of the game is Speed Simulator. And when you're stopping every three seconds to buffer, that's just ruining your flow. But there is actually an easy fix for this. The first thing you can try doing is opening up your settings, going over to graphics quality, and turning it as far down as you need to. Or you could actually be in a server that's just way too far from home. If you're in the United States, you don't need to be in a London server. Try one of these two fixes the next time you run into a laggy server. Number six, most hated thing, pay to win cringe. It's no secret that Sonic Speed Simulator can get really expensive, especially if you dive into the game passes. Some of them, like the Infinite Magnet, can cost as much as $20. Even I have fallen victim to some of the nickel and dime boosts. Especially if you're just starting out, the Magnet Boost, Triple Rings, or Triple XP can look really appealing. The Sky Rings Boost, though, what the heck is up with that? Another complaint is that it's just way too expensive. Like the Golden Tornado over here, for 1,299 Robux. Seriously, how many people have 1,299 Robux just laying around? And though I've given away almost a million Robux so you guys can buy some of these things, that's only covering a very, very small portion of our audience. And every week, they're tossing new chow at us that are on average $17 for a five pack, if you want to evolve them. Number five, most hated thing. It's just way too hard. Life gets busy, especially when you have to maintain a social life with your friends, doing all your chores to keep your parents off your back. And then of course, we've all got to do our homework, right? So where the heck do we find the time to grind for 20 million hours just so we can fly a tornado? Well, thank goodness this one's permanent, but there's still other events where a lot of people ran out of time and simply couldn't get the characters. And it totally wasn't their fault. A lot of people's screen time is actually limited which means that they only get their iPad or whatever for a couple hours a day. And if you still want to watch your favorite show on Netflix, play your other favorite Roblox games, and then also to pop into Sonic Speed Simulator to unlock the new event, you're simply just going to run out of time. So that's not fair. What happened to the good old days where you could just run around the map, collect a card, and unlock your favorite skin? Number four, most hated things. What happened to codes? 
Long ago, there was a time where you could just log into YouTube and see your favorite creator post a new video about a new secret code. Let's be real here. We love codes. It really doesn't even matter what the code is, whether it unlocks some worthless chow that we never use, or maybe even a 30 minute magnet. It'd be great if you kept dropping that code and giving us the same chow over and over again. At least then we could possibly evolve it. But you know what we would really, really, really want? It's something you did first. You gave us a brand new skin. That's right, the writer's code. And it's still not available? Come on. There's no reason that needed to be expired. And this is probably one of the easiest things they could ever do. All they need to do is make the code activated and give us something. So go ahead. You guys can do it. Come on. Number three, we all knew this was coming. Too many reskins. All right, let's go ahead and start counting the skins. Starting with Sonic. We got Summer Sonic, Stealth Suit Sonic, Birthday King Sonic. Not sure if this is really considered a reskin, but then we've got Riders Sonic. But that's okay. His name is on the game. But Sailor Tails, Mechanic Tails, Aviator Tails, we'll go ahead and let Classic Tails slide. And of course, Riders Tails. Moving on to Knuckles, Treasure Hunter Knuckles, Adventure Knuckles, Riders Knuckles, and Camping Knuckles. And then there's everyone's favorite character, Amy, with her chef, Amy, and Summer Amy. Then there's Metal Sonic 3.0 and Terminator Metal. Big the Cat's got a couple with Angler Big. We have gotten two new characters with Rouge the Bat and Jet the Hawk. Number two, most hated thing. Thing. No Shadow! Now I know a lot of you guys thought this would be number one for sure, but No Shadow in the game has really irked a lot of players. Some players even refusing to play the game again until Shadow makes an appearance. But there is hope. They did just release the UGC hat, which means that he could actually be coming to the game soon. But there still is the possibility that Sega is holding him hostage until the release of Sonic the Movie 3. Did I just seriously call it Sonic the Movie 3? Sonic the Hedgehog Movie 3, 3, I, I, whatever, you guys know what I mean. I just hope that he comes sooner than later. And number one on the list of most hated thing about Sonic Speed Simulator, loot boxes. What's this? The price is right in Sonic Speed Simulator? Nope, it's a loot box. Sure, your first spin is free, but that's where they get you. If you want to spin again, it'll cost you a hundred Robux. That, my friend, is the definition of a loot box. Bruh. Back in July, over 18 countries voted to abolish loot boxes inside of video games. And they generously gave these developers over eight weeks to abandon these predatory tactics or get their games banned. While many developers scrambled to remove these loot boxes for their games or face these dire consequences, some games, including Sonic Speed Simulator, decided to keep the loot boxes and just disable these games in those countries. These are the 10 most hated things about Sonic Speed Simulator. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel and watch the next video in this playlist.